Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here, and you're watching Wolf of the Wild. So, teddy bear sunflowers are the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen in my life, and I need to show you my little collection. bought some teddy bear sunflowers that's what they're called yes teddy bear sunflowers they're a beautiful little dwarf variety of sunflowers and uh, we planted them in this bed in this little corner along with um, all of the dahlias here and there were also some beautiful daylilies that just uh, were spent the other day so I cut them back that were beautiful orange uh, that kind of cascaded over but the sunflowers are now in bloom and I just kind of wanted to show them off because they're the cutest thing I've ever seen and uh, we're gonna actually plant some more today in a slightly shadier area hopefully hopefully they'll be up by the fall I wanted some fall moments for my sunflowers as well um, so we're gonna be replanting some more teddy bear sunflowers as well as some single stem autumn sunflowers which should be taller um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to show you, I'm going to kneel in this little space. <laughs> okay. Actually, let me, let me do this. So this guy doesn't go in the ground all the way because, um, there's something blocking his path. Boop. But these, like, do you, do you see this? He's absolutely gorgeous. He's so cute. These are like the fluffiest most adorable sunflowers I've ever seen and the cool thing about them is they're dwarf varieties so they are much quicker to grow than your typical sunflower and they only get what is this like two and a half feet tall yeah about two two and a half feet tall these guys are taller back here and they are a they're not a single stem variety so just on this plant alone let me see one two i can already see like four um sunflowers that are going to be on this plant alone so the cool thing about some sunflower varieties is you can get the i don't know I, god i don't know what they're called they're not they're just not single stem sunflowers and they'll just keep blooming they'll have the main sunflower which will be like your biggest boy that will flower at the beginning and then you'll have a bunch of little offshoots basically that will have more sunflowers that won't be as big or as impressive but they're still absolutely beautiful and obviously single stem sunflowers are just so impressive because they're huge and beautiful but once that one flower has bloomed the plant's basically dead right it's done producing it's one flower it's good to go it's got all its seeds and you get these beautiful giant showy sunflowers but they're kind of short-lived which is a little sad um last year that's what i did i did some single stem and some larger varieties of the multiple stem and we actually have them here they were so huge it was taller than my gazebo and i remember doing a photo shoot by the end of the year and i had to like get on a chair <laughs> to reach the sunflowers to like have them close to my head it was a beautiful shoot and I absolutely loved it but it was like a whole freaking wall here so this year I didn't want a wall I wanted something a little shorter obviously so I could still see out uh, while I'm sitting there and looking after my puppies and everything so yeah anyways these are freaking awesome we're gonna go plant some more in a different area right now All right, so we are now around my pond area, very close to the back. And I believe these are the ones that I did plant here, these plum varieties, these beautiful guys here. Um, they should be taller by now, but they are in a much shadier spot. Now that the catalpa tree has fully um, leafed out and grown in, these do get a little shadier. So I am taking a risk with planting more sunflowers here. Um, but I just want to see if it works and honestly I, I think I might like sunflowers here in general maybe for next year what happened was um, the dogs were getting in here a lot in the spring I do have to fence this off better while plants are still growing because they definitely try to get in here and then <laughs> I did notice 
that some of the varieties, some of the sunflower stalks were like, they were lining this whole area, okay? And then they were bitten off here. So I'm pretty sure squirrels or something, most likely squirrels, because they're monsters, were coming in and sitting here, okay? And then just chomping the whole plant. So killing it, obviously. So <laughs> I have two that survived, three, three that survived and one that survived in the corner. So I'm just gonna kind of dig in some more sunflowers. We have the teddy bear, which is a 65 day, and then the plum, which are a 60 day. And uh, we're just gonna see if they grow. Why not? I've got four seeds here for the plum. Ah! And I have a few teddy bears. So I'm just gonna plant these. We'll see if they work. Like I said, they're in a much shadier position. But I'm just gonna get rid of these seeds this year. And uh, if we get some, great. If we don't, it's fine. I'll probably harvest some seeds from the ones that do grow over there in the teddy bear and I'll have plenty for next year. So yeah, woohoo. There we go. I planted these sunflowers really quickly. Like I said, if they don't grow in, that's totally fine. Um, I had like less than a dozen seeds left and I just wanted to maybe get something else in here for the fall, something very, you know, Halloweenish and wonderful. And sunflowers are beautiful in the fall. And they're actually great for birds as well um, and insects for later on for pollinating late fall. And uh, yeah, they're just a good time. So everyone wins if they grow. If not, totally cool. But yeah, anyways guys, let me know if you are growing sunflowers this year. I would love to see some of your beautiful collections. And um, I'm definitely gonna try to find more dwarf varieties for my garden. Obviously I don't have a lot of space where I can place things that are like seven, eight feet tall. And where I do have full sun, I kind of don't really want them in those spots. They're just too huge. Um, but I absolutely adore sunflowers and they're beautiful, big showy flowers. So yeah, awesome. And there comes the wind. Oh, it's nice though. All right, I'm gonna go make myself a iced coffee and uh, hang out for a little bit and water these guys in. Talk to you soon. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hope to see you around as a member. If not, you can also subscribe to my free OnlyFans, which is onlyfans.com slash wolf of the wild. It will be the pinned comment down below. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. That's freaking crazy. Oh, so, so cool. All right, guys, bye.